congratulations to Dan Merle. You deserve that title. February 29th in Atlanta, the main event for the championship. Ben the Boss Bateman defends his title against Dangerous Dan Merle. One of the biggest fights we've had in a long, long time. Easily Ben Bateman's hardest test he's ever had. The undercard is actually is great. Alex Damon, Star Wars champion, going for his first inner geekdom match ever against Emily Rose Jacobson. So I'm coming for that belt someday. I know what I have to do. I know how I want to end this season, so Atlanta's in my, it's in my sights. This is amazing. Who got these? What are you doing here? You asked me to be here. That was a trick question. Great hair. Thank you. Exfoliant? You're using exfoliant? No, it's yak's milk. Cool. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Where's a yak? Where's that from? Uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Look, there's a lot of things I like about you. Me too. Your hair being number one. It goes with the whole persona. But I was in Siberia, and I was like, you know what? I came across a chinchilla. And I was like, you know what? I got this for somebody. And a great man once wore this. Well, who is that man? It's unimportant right now, all right? I'm doing the question asking here. Okay. Yes. Here's the deal. I want to give this to you. How does it smell good? Yeah, it's nice. Good. Like it. You're supposed to wear it. But, I mean, if you feel like petting it and hiding it, uh, it's nice. that's cool. It's chinchilla. It's silky. the highest grade chinchilla, too. It's silky smooth. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, let me uh, eat this melon. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Get work on that entrance music. Gentlemen, and welcome to the movie trivia showdown. What a match we have today as Ken Knapsack gets his liquids in order. It's the real rejects versus the cuckoo's mess. Oh, it's a play on words. Am I based reading off that right? The famous motion picture. Yeah, uh, this is a new team, Mark. Uh, you, this is a very new team. Cuckoo's mess is new. Cuckoo's real mess rejects been here for not years. Not new. Not new. Sometimes it seems like it, but they're two talented competitors looking for a big break. Yes, they are. One of them peed on stage last year, the free for all. So we'll see if there is any sort of urination that takes place on this stage. Hopefully not, Ken. Right. What we are rooting for, what we want to see, is two factions being represented ably by their teams and a lot of correct points scored. When you look at real rejects, I don't think that their one in five lifetime record accurately reflects right. the joy, the frivolity, and some correct answers that they've brought to the movie trivia show yeah. in their time. Yeah, one in five of them. I keep score at home. I'm looking at that. Wow, that is great. Hey, uh, season seven is about these factions, it's about these teams. It's a new the, era. It's about the bigger competition as well as the competition going on in these individual matches here. And uh, you got two factions here that we're trying to get a, a handle on and see what they're going to bring in this new season. Uh, the Mouthy Mercs is led by Koi Jandro. Who is uh, a noted stand-up comedian? Noted stand-up comedian. Uh, he's uh, got a one-hour special coming out next week. I heard, right? He's, he's doing great. Uh, no, Coy's a great guy who has a great reputation in this league. A lot he, of energy. A lot of energy. Uh, he is a great legendary speed round fighter in another world. Good and hair. Can he bring that to you? Great hair. And uh, let me tell you, he can do a push up like a champion. And he's uh, coming, uh, he's got a, He's a, in control now. He's got this faction. What kind of manager is he going to be? What kind of leader? What kind of mentor is he going to be? And can he take this team, the Real Rejects, which you mentioned, lifetime record of one and five? You could write them off. But we've seen individual performances from Greg, from John over the time. Remember that, uh, you know, that free for all a bit ago with John just kind of taking the whole thing by storm. Uh, can Coy get them to the next level? That's right, because you look at these guys, I, I don't think that, that their, their their record reflects their talent, and maybe they mm -hmm. just need that manager to, to Lombardi them a little bit, you know, to crack down on them, to Bill Parcells right. them, to get in their head and get the best out of them. On the other side of the ledger, what are we looking at? You talk about a cuckoo's mess. You're looking at Kaiser and the dungeon. That speaks for itself. Absolutely. Uh, Kaiser, what a year he had last year. Uh, you know, I don't like the guy. He's, no. He smells like a strip club on a Saturday morning when it's not open yet. And I, 
I try to get along with him. Uh, we talk baseball every once in a while. His pops was a hero of mine throwing out. Big Earl fan Weaver of his family. It's yeah, just I, he the family seems to be name, the, the, the family name, the family, the family crest. He himself, uh, I don't know, but you got to respect him. you got to respect whatever goes on in that dungeon. Something's happening because they are turning out champions, and now he brings a new team. This is what the draft did. This is what that uh, nuclear option was intended to be. We got Video Drew. She's made an impact in this league. She is, uh, you know, a lot of people, at first, you didn't know what to think of her. Like, who is this? What is this? Is a character? Did she this build video? Tom? Did she build Tom in some kind of laboratory? Well, they were a great team. Now they're apart. She's got a new partner here making a Schmodown debut. And I, I, this Rick Hong guy, do not sell him short because anytime I go to any sort of movie premiere and any sort of junket, anytime mm -hmm. I decide to hang outside of a theater and sell kids drugs, Rick Hong is there and he's studying movie. The guy is, day and night, he lives, breathes, and eats this stuff. Yeah, it's not the first time I got a call saying Mark's in jail, he needs help. So I uh, definitely... 2013 uh, was a lifetime ago. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Hi, Mom. We, were, we were still good Schmodown competitors back oh. then. Uh, yeah, so uh, Rick, a newcomer. Newcomers can sometimes be overlooked, but like you said, he's got knowledge. We'll stop talking and we'll let the competitors and their managers speak for themselves right now. Well, we found some new friends since you last seen us. Ever since I laid eyes on Video Drew, I thought to myself, this is a woman that could teach me things. Things about black magic, shape-shifting, and more importantly, where to find a good taxidermist. Oh, down the street in Burbank. Drew Grant! Drew Grant! Oh, Drew Leo Grant! Grew. And that's why I went out and traded Captain Crunch to get this national treasure into the dungeon. And I remember when people had to go get their amazing talent the old-fashioned way by digging them up in a graveyard. So, Tom, how are you feeling about today's match? Tom? Tom. So what would that do? I mean, how would you be able to function? It seems like you two are pretty tied to each other, no? Yeah. That's not going to happen. So we're facing off against the real rejects. A couple of dicky doos who look like they got caught in the spin cycle with Cheech and Chong and Billy Eyelash. Haha, <laughs> oh burn. No one takes this show more seriously than us. Are we back? Greg Alba. Oh, wow. Greg Alba has been selected. A man who was touted as having the entrance of the year. Lost out to Mr. John Roca. I get why he was awarded that. You know, it's like, did he do work to earn that award? We're now the Cuckoo's Mess. We're so, so very happy to be part of the new dungeon fashion with our friend Kaiser Sose. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was blah, 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 blah. These are two players that I saw independently slay, and then I saw as a team slay, and I think every single member of the faction, they're all really good individuals, but they're really, really impressive as a team. What the Mouthy Mercs represent is very X-Force-like. They're all good in their individual issues, they're all good on their solo runs, but as X-Force, unstoppable. Ha, huh, we're so excited. We made it to the semifinals last time against our bad opponent, Shazam. Boo, boo, boo. Now we're excited for season seven with all the new friends, the new Toms, and the new whoever. Back to you. Video Kaiser. And Ken, I mean, you see that Rick the Ruler Hong. Are you kidding me? That's it. We're coming in with a little bit of gusto here, paired with Video Drew. I like what the Cuckoo's Mess is about. The fact that they're managed by Kaiser, I'm willing to overlook it. Uh, yeah, you know, Kaiser, he's got a way with words. He's still talking. That promo is still going in his head. That so, poor toothpick. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Coy, uh, I like, again, like the optimism he's bringing with the real reason. He sleeps, I heard, two hours a day. Uh, that's true. He looked at The Rock, only sleeps four hours a day. He says, I'm going to beat that dude, do two hours better. You open up Koi, you see what's inside him. It's just a gerbil on a wheel, and it never stops for water. <laughs> Ken, we should probably go to the tail of tape of this that's one, don't you think? That's right. Are Real, these people good at anything? These people are good at things. Uh, Real Rejects, their strengths include comic book movies. That's a very key uh, skill to have. Also, uh, skills include miscellaneous and mixed bag, the <laughs> potpour potpourri of the Schmodown world. Uh, okay. On the other side, Cuckoo's Mess. Uh, it was a little cagey when I went over to ask what their strengths were. What happened? 
Kaiser told me to get the hell out of here, and I got to tell you, uh, I'm going on past things, uh, rom-coms, and Kaiser said any movie with roadkill in it. Uh, it sounds like a very specific genre, but one that maybe we have a wheel slice for in this new era. Ken, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about everything. I think the ship's in order. You ready to go here? Sir, I am ready. Then let's get ready to schmow down. <laughs> Intro Juicing first. Representing the Mouthy Mercs. Being led to the ring by their manager, Koi Jandru, with a career record of one win and five defeats. Greg John, the real region. Look at all what is of the Mouthy Mercs has showed up. Here. Mark Hanafik, Haley Fouch, the kid, Brendan Meyer, William Bibiani, and a wow. sweet new tiger jacket, all masked. This is uh, out of some sort of nightmare. I this feel like we're being robbed by the Joker in the Dark Knight. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. I it's just want to say a senior citizen player stole my Entrance of the Year award last year. This uh, award season, so. Uh, wait a minute. I decided to steal Greg. his outfit this time around. Greg is. He's making reference oh, to John how, Roca. Your, oh, wait, oh, there's John Roca is actually how's here. Go there's today? Roca right there. Listen, I'm not taking crap from a guy who's still wearing Soul Glow in 2019 on his hand. For God's sake. Give me that hat. Give me that mask. John, you should understand my irrational reactions are based off of how you usually behave in this show. So <laughs> that's just where my bitterness behavior has come from today. Well, then maybe someday you'll win four titles, Greg. It's oh, okay. Okay, that's John more words. Oh. Feeling good after that documentary currently available on the Schmodown Patreon. Absolutely. And there we go. All right. And their opponents representing the dungeon and being led to the ring by their manager, Kaiser. Video Drew. Rick the Ruler. Got a prison got, Hamburg got, theme going on. He's got he's got Harloff's name written on his bandana there. He's got an eye patch. He's got an eye patch. He's got a baby. Uh, Tom, you've changed. The past fans coming to pick you with you up in about 15 minutes. Take you back to Area 51. Oh, <laughs> right. So Naruto run. Kaiser doing a great job, fresh off his community theater performance as the Shadow. Ha ha ha. Thank you, Video Drew. Uh, so we have uh, the Cuckoo's Mess and Real Rejects finally sat here at the table. Your managers have taken their places. So now it's up to me to read you the rules of round at number one. Yes, there are rules in this show. In round number one, the field of competitors is going to hear eight questions. These are eight questions from eight different corners of movie, trivia, schmodown, know-how. Each question is worth one point. This is the team format, but you may not rely on your teammates' knowledge in round at number one. It's an individual exercise of movie, trivia, schmodown, know-how. Every point you accrue will be added to your team's total. As soon as we ask you by name after about 15 seconds to reveal your answer, please show what you wrote on the whiteboard to the camera at the same time you verbalize the answer into the microphone. Each team has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself some time, use the JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to be used by your managers at any point throughout the three-round match. Ken, the majority of those rules were read while Rick, the ruler Hong, was talking on the phone uh, or a baby. Haha, <laughs> Tom remembers how to play. We did this last season. <laughs> Look, uh, your video Drew has been updated. Is I, I don't want to be the one to tell her. It's not my job. We'll it's keep Kaiser's it up job, here at the answer so. desk. Okay. And I will simply ask the teams, uh, the Cuckoo's Mess, are you ready to go? Baby's ready. <laughs> oh, good enough for me. Real rejects. <laughs> That's a yes. That's it's a time yes. for the movie trivia schmodown. Three rounds to a finish. Have the car waiting, Ken. Absolutely. The Camry never shuts off. <laughs> it can't. Uh, have at it, sir. All right. Question one. You got eight coming. This is the first one in the category of action slash adventure. Action adventure. What 2010 action film stars Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman, and Helen Mirren? 
kid, can you say that Willis actually stars in anything anymore? Or does he just show up to set and there's cameras uh, happen yeah. to be rolling? Stars in a box outside of 7 Eleven. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. We uh, pens down, looking for answers, starting with Rick. Red. Red indeed it is, Mr. Alba. Red. Red it is, <gasps> Video Drew. R E D, red. That is correct. John. Red. Red, it is. Oh, Video Drew wants to play. Uh, Video Drew is now in a mask. All right, so it is uh, inexplicably. Really hard to in this these characters got the question right, two to two. We move on to crime movies. And the question is Brad Pitt plays an Irish gypsy or pikey in what 2000 crime film? Uh, Brad Pitt, 55 years old? Now? Yeah, you see those abs? Uh, yeah. When he's when he's fixing the roof? Uh, oh, in a movie? No, I've you just seen, got this, Rick. seen him through his yeah, bedroom window. In, yeah. Five, four. Sorry, what was that? Three. I, said I believe in Rick. Two. Sorry? One. I believe in Rick. Pens are down. Pens are down. We're looking for answers starting with Greg. Snatch. Snatch it is. We got a point there. Video Drew. You like Dags? Snatch. Snatch it is, John. Snatch. Snatch. Oh, but Devil's that's, that's own. We got a miss. We got a miss. Movie, Bad baby. That's a good Bad. movie. Oh, oh, good dog. Yeah. Perfect. Cuckoo's good mess. Dog, yeah. That's a great movie. Blaming all, all right. on the baby. I'm not sure that's the case. <laughs> this is great. I feel like I went to my friend's improv show. Here we go. <laughs> Question three in the category of dramas. Dramas. <laughs> Who stars as Whitey Bulger in the crime drama Black Mass? This does feel like a Tuesday afternoon, like an improv group came to an old folks home to entertain them. <laughs> are we the old folks? <laughs> I think we are, but Well, bring me my insure. Uh, Five, that could be a four, on perspective. three, two, what? one. Pens down. We need answers starting with Video Drew. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, indeed. We got one for Cuckoo's Mess. Johnny Depp. All right. We got it right. Rick. Johnny Depp. We got an answer. Mr. Greg Abba. The highly respected Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Yep, yep, um, yep. We move on to movie quotes. Movie quotes is the next category. The question, what 80s film is known for the line, greed, for lack of a better word, is good? Mm. A mantra that mm -hmm. the knapsacks live by? Ah, that's me at a Del Taco menu at 2 in the morning, so definitely. You had their, uh, their turkey? Always. Five, four, three, two, and one, pens are down. Look for answers starting with John. Wall Street. We got that one correct. Rick. I taught you the system, how it works. Wall Street. That's right, Greg Alba. Yeah, Wall Street. Yeah. We got it. Video true. Wall Street. Oh, she, she got it, it there. Everybody yeah. looking pretty good, except for Rick. Everyone else has uh, got a question right there. So. Got every question right. You're doing good, Rick. All right. Question Sorry? five. Question five comes in the category of fantasy slash sci-fi. Fantasy slash scafi. Who plays the android David in Prometheus? If you had a, uh, if you had an android, what mm -hmm. would you name it? Uh, I. Janine. Yeah, Janine would be the answer. <laughs> five. As she's writing four, down the answer. Three. Two, one, pens are down. Look for answer starting with Rick. Michael Fassbender. You are correct, sir. Mr. Alma. Michael Fassbender. <laughs> remains perfect. Video Drew. Michael Fassbender. We got a perfect round so far for her. Michael and Fassbender. There we go. Ten, right. two, nine. And Ten to nine. we're looking at a perfect round so far. Perfect round. From each and every competitor, with the exception of Rick. Please don't take that out on your baby. Don't please do not take that out. Please, please. please. It's okay, Rick. Tom, Tom, Tom. Uh, your next category is the world of comedies. <laughs> and comedy. <laughs> Who co-stars with Ben Stiller as Hutch in 2004's Starsky and Hutch? Oh, wow. I remember this movie was coming out. It was like, can you believe this is going to be the best thing ever? And then it was like, yeah. Eh. Yeah. I remember when the TV show was actually going on there. That's how old I am. Do you really? 78 now. Five, wow. four, three. Two and one, pens are down. We'll look for answers starting with Greg Alba. Oh, wow. 
Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson, indeed. <laughs> Video Owen Wilson true. behind the mask. Can, can you guys understand what, what these people are saying? Barely. Can't hear it. Can't hear it. Uh, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson, indeed. We remains perfect. John. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> and Rick. And for God's sakes, man, they're hand towels. <laughs> Owen Wilson. Right. Owen Wilson. We got that. We got that there. All right. Everyone is perfect so far other than the one that Rick Well, perfect is a very strong word to describe these competitors. This is Hey, true. we're here for the right reasons. We got a day pass. That is expensive okay. pass to get. Question seven comes in the category of horror slash thriller, horror slash thriller. What 2017 horror film stars Jaden Lieberher, Finn Wolfhard, and Sophia Lilith? And a hushed silence over this crowd that doesn't know why they're still here. That's right. They're <laughs> catching their collective Five, breath. Five, four, three, two. Ricky? We got one repeat there. JT rule. What 2017 horror film stars Jaden Lieberher, Finn Wolfhard, and Sophia Lillis? If they could, actors could just all, Jaden Smith. It's like Terrence Finn just Jones. It, 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 John just, Smith. Yeah. Fine Come name. On. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Pens are all down. We're looking for answers starting with Video Drew. Uh, this is from the future, but turn. Mm. That is incorrect. Incorrect. No longer perfect there. John. It. It. Chapter one. That is right. Remains perfect. And Rick. It. Chapter it. One. Chapter one indeed. Rick. I just put it. Uh, Do I have to put chapter one? No, nope, you nope. got it. You it's got it. it. You got it. All right, so two perfect rounds remain, two and they're both rounds. on the side of the real rejects. Yes, indeed. All right. I tried to block out my childhood. That's fair. Your last question. All right, we might have a challenge, yeah. as I suspected. Okay. So the challenge is in. Keep in mind, each team has one challenge view. So the challenge is that it is It, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, or what is the name of the film? So we'll be right back with our ruling. Okay. We are back and we have made our ruling. The film It came out and it was called It. It is known as It. There is an It Chapter 2, but It Chapter 1 or It by itself are perfectly acceptable. So <laughs> I knew that. I just wanted that. It's overruled. The and the <laughs> cuckoo's <laughs> nest. Again, please do not take that out on the baby. That is, that is, take it out on your manager, not the precious child. Uh, we do move on to animated movies now. Um, now that the Real Rejects still have their challenge, the Cuckoo's Mess no longer has a challenge, the Real Rejects can also solidify a perfect round number one if they get this last question correct. For the floor... Animated is our strongest category. It is the world of yeah. animated movies, <laughs> movies drawn by hand or on a computer. The question, what 1998 DreamWorks animated film tells the biblical story of Moses? All right, love that year. 1990, that's the year I moved to Los Angeles. That's right. And if uh, Kaiser wants, I can find the specific chapter in right. the Bible yeah. that Moses is. Uh, yeah. I believe it's Genesis? Five. Exodus? Four. Bible chapter one? Three, two, <laughs> the one. The Bible, part four. All right, pens are down. Answer starting with John. The Prince of Egypt. He keeps his perfect round. <laughs> that's correct. Rick. Rick. Rick Hong. Prince, Prince of Egypt. Prince of Egypt. Prince of Egypt. All right, Mr. Alba. Prince of Egypt. We got yeah. it. Video Perfect. Drew. Video Drew. Jeff Goldblum's in it. Prince of Egypt. Yes, Prince he is. of Egypt. Look at that. Look at that. We got a 16. 14 game, but Mark, two perfect competitors, both on the same team. Two perfect rounds from John and Greg, respectively, the real rejects. So in the bonus question, it gets administered. Uh, managers, if I can ask you to not consult with your team until after the bonus question is administered. I just want to tell him, don't let Jay and Silent Slob get in his head. That's all. He's new at the game. All right. I've been, I've been complimentary towards Rick. Uh, this is going to be treated as a normal round one question because it is asked to two people. Please write down your answer on the whiteboard. Once we ask you by name, then reveal your answer. Ken, at you're ready. All right. Your bonus question, John, Greg. Who played Mouth in the Goonies. A lot of mouth today, get it? <laughs> oh, I, I long for the days of this mouth in the Goonies from the 1980s. Sir, we're supposed to I hope you clean got it up it, on these parts. Three, two, get it, John. One. Pens down, we go to Greg. I haven't seen the Goonies ever. Josh Brolin. Incorrect. Incorrect. Does John have it? Jerry O'Connell? No. Oh! Corey Feldman. 
Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. Feldman. That was my second. We're still, we're, we're still doing fine, John. All right. Corey Feldman. Let's All keep right. it moving. We have to second. be back by six. All second right, so round. Uh, round. as the teams swap places and align with their here. squads, we move on to the wheel round. This is round number two. And Ken, it is known as the wheel round because there's 12 wedges on that wheel. You mm -hmm. have opponent's choice and mm -hmm. spinner's choice and 10 categories of movie trivia showdown at know-how, right. including a slice for the 2000s, which is our sponsored Patreon slice. Shout out to all of our movie trivia showdown patrons. If either team spins and keeps the slice of the 2000s, we'll say the name of that patron. Thank you for your support. Each wedge contains six questions. Those questions are worth two points each. There is no penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, the team can ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. Unlike round number one, the teammates can confer for each and every round two question. And now that we find the teams settled, we look at the real rejects. Although they are seated at the lower ranked competitor side and they have a one and five record, they are 16 points to the Cuckoo's Mess, 14 points. So the real rejects can choose. Would you like to spin first or defer to your opponents? Just two adults talking in masks. Ew. Kiss, 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 Gonna kiss, kiss. Gonna need an answer. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like they're going to spin. We're all winners today. It looks like they're going to spin. All right, here comes all Alba. Right. Go ahead and spin, sir. At your ready. And here it comes. The spin is about to be in. There it goes. Spin there is in. Goes. Spin is in. Round and round it goes. Here we go. Like the all-time great band Rat would say. Mm -hmm. Round and up round. for uh, LA Guns this weekend at some mid-state fair what near comes you. comes around, goes around. Here we go That's again. I'll tell you why. In it is the, the 2000s, so they want to keep it? Manager. <laughs> Manager. Manager. If they keep it, we say uh, the name we, of the patron. Uh, there's a lot of anticipation uh, for this year. That's right. We're all alive during that period. Yeah. <laughs> All they're right, gonna they're going to keep gonna get the it. 2000s. Mark, that means we got and a sponsor. Means I get to say the name of our patron. Everybody give a huge shout out to our good friend Sushi Mozumder, ladies and gentlemen. How about it? For Feeling Sushi. Wrong. Thank you for sponsoring oh, the Movie Trivia Showdown. If you'd like to be a part of the Patreon and maybe have your name set on an upcoming match, check out the Patreon and select which tier is right for you. As we move into the real rejects, gentlemen, Ken Napslag will be asking your questions about the 2000s, a decade that saw him fall in love, fall out of love, and stop his dream of being a morning radio DJ. I am the morning DJ. All right, here we go. Yeah. At W-O-L-D-D-D. -D -D. Harry Chapin, everybody. All right, six questions for you, real rejects, in the category of 2000s. Uh, movies. You do have multiple choice. Uh, you all, f you have three of your JT rules remaining here, uh, named after famed Wisconsin film reviewer Josh Tapia. All right. Hey, Josh. First question: In what 2007 film does a killer use a cattle bolt gun as his weapon of choice? Please, please. No country for old men. That is correct, oh, sir. They took the masks off. They mean business now, Ken. All right, second question out of six. What business does Adam Sandler's Longfellow Deeds own in 2000's Mr. Deeds? Think a little deeper. I knew we should have spent again. A little deeper. <laughs> uh, let's do mul multiple, multiple choice. Choice. A, bookstore. B, gas station. C, convenience store. D, pizzeria. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, can, Five, you, can, you can you repeat four. it again, please? You can do one repeat of the options without a JT rule. Go ahead. A, bookstore. B, gas station. C, convenience store. D, pizzeria. Bro, we'll, we'll say D, pizzeria. That's correct for one point. You got the point. <laughs> yeah. Gary Cooper would be proud. And they find themselves up five. All right. Who plays Justin Long's best friend? Sherman Schrader. <laughs> we just, just watched this. <laughs> in the 2006 comedy, Accepted. And we don't know it. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill's for two <laughs> points. <laughs> Ask me about my wiener. Very Beavis and Butthead giggly right there. Oh, <laughs> all right. 
fourth question. You got six in total. What city does Lost in Translation take place in? Tokyo? That's correct for two <laughs> more points. My woman two Tokyo. more points. Question five out of six. In Avatar, what is the name of the sacred tree of the Navi? Home tree. That is incorrect for two points what? still. It's not home tree? Two points steal for. It's going to be a huge steal here, Ken. Uh, no. We could. Going to need an answer. The mother tree? Incorrect. Looking for Tree of Souls. Tree of Souls, who I think opened up for the Counting Crows. Don't shake your head, Roka. They were More great. importantly, I don't think this baby's breathing. Everyone loves Avatar. All right. <laughs> Final question. Final question in this category of 2000s, sponsored by our great Patreon supporter. You guys got this. So in. Thank you, guys. I love your eye thing. In 50 I first dates, women. Lucy wakes up every day thinking it is which day of the week? Oh, man. There's so many choices. <laughs> it ends with a Y. <laughs> Five, four. Three. Repeat the question, two. please. In 50 first dates, Lucy wakes up every day thinking it is which day of the week? I'll just say Friday. That is incorrect for two point steal. This could be a big steal here, Ken. Could be important here. Could tie the game. We're going to tie the game. Get them closer. Monday? Incorrect. We're looking for Sunday. Oh, Sunday, 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 Sunday. Sunday is true. You All and I right. can experience the loss of the Redskins and Dolphins every day every of our lives. Day, and that was the day. theme song of the movie, Sunday Bloody Sunday. 23 to 14, the real rejects find themselves with a nine-point lead, and now the cuckoo's mess <laughs> steps up to the wheel and gives it a spin. <laughs> Drew or Rick or the baby, the who's going to do it? Uh, video <laughs> Drew. It's going to spin. The spin is in. The spin is in from Video Drew. Very confused as to whether this baby prop is going to last past this match. It feels very awkward. We've got one of the all-time greats, Denzel Washington. Are we keeping it? Or are we spinning? You got this. Spin, you again. Got this. spin again. Spin again. All right. A good spin from Drew. Good spin from Drew. All right. Video oh, Drew. my God. My pulse is pounding. It's a, it's a pulse pounding <laughs> moment here. Is oh, it? it's a oh, point oh, choice! Oh, Confirmed choice. manager! <laughs> manager. <laughs> All right. So here comes Coy running in. We know he's the highest energy yep. manager of the current <laughs> factions. He's running in to talk with the yeah. Mouthy Mercs residents. You can go, you can go back. You so go back. Video Drew spinning opponent's choice. All right. And now this we're going to need an answer from the real rejects yep. as to what category they want to mm -hmm. saddle the cuckoo's mess All with. All right. Let's get a choice here coming down here, boys. In a five, four, three, two, one. I don't know Yay. that they can hear you. Someone tell me something soon. We, we are going. Let's go with Denzel. All right. Uh, Denzel. Go with Denzel. We're going to go with Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. In the films of Denzel Washington, the Cuckoo's Mess is going to have six questions. Each one is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. Your first question of six, who co-stars with Denzel in the John Grisham adaptation of The Pelican Brief? One, two, three. Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts. Julia Roberts. Adorable. Indeed. This might backfire. Oh, no. <laughs> Two points. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys are, this is great. Oh, Thank you. You're welcome. Your next question. In the film Flight, who uh -huh. plays a drug dealer named Harling who delivers his inventory to Denzel's character in a hotel room? Multiple choice. I can provide that. Is it A, William Hurt, B, John C. Riley, C, John Goodman, or D, William H. Macy? Can you repeat the options again? I can do that once without use mm -hmm. of a JTE rule. Is it A, William Hurt, B, John C. Riley, C, John Goodman, or D, William H. Macy? B? That is incorrect. <laughs> I'm going to give the real rejects your multiple choice options for a possible okay. one point steal. <laughs> is it A, William Hurt, B, John C. Riley, C, John Goodman, or D, William H. Macy? Uh, 
just be here. For one more day. We'll say William Hurt. That is Rick. incorrect. <laughs> Looking <laughs> for John. Goodman. Oh, thank God. Oh. Think of that. <laughs> there us were as long as we didn't think of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, back to the Cougars. <laughs> man. We fail as a team. Your third question of six in the world of Denzel Washington. Who plays the villainous Dave York, Robert McCall's former partner in Antoine Fuqua's The Equalizer 2? A multiple choice. Is it A, Bill Pullman, B, Martin Sakas, C, Pedro Pascal, or D, David Harbour? Martin Sokas. That is incorrect for a one-point steal. Your options, A, Bill Pullman, B, Martin Sakas, C, Pedro Pascal, D, David Harbour. A, Bill Pullman. Pedro Pascal. Oh. Is Pedro Pascal's in that for, movie? Looking for the red David Viper. Harper, How was he bigger? Why didn't I looking watch that film? Pedro Pascal is who we were looking Guys, this for. is Matt. This he's is backfiring so on us all. He's so, all right. he's so good. Your fourth, fourth question. question. Fourth question. <laughs> of six. In the world of Denzel Washington, in the film Remember the Titans, Coach Boone gives a speech to his players at the site of what famous wartime battle? Is there another, is there another kind of battle? It's a question for another hours day. beyond. Another day. Multiple choice. Is it A, Bull Run, B, Antidium, C, Yorktown, or D, Gettysburg? Yorktown. That is incorrect. Gettysburg. <laughs> Your options needed. included Gettysburg, and that is the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> Denzel! Oh, it's the mask, John! 24 to 16. <laughs> All right. And an excitable bunch of real rejects, but Cuckoo's. Would, I would put the champagne on ice for now because the Cuckoo's mess still has two questions in the world of Denzel Washington. Yep. They can okay. have the lead. Okay. That The current mm -hmm. is eight points for the real rejects. Yeah. Uh, your next question. Penultimate in this round. Denzel Washington starred in what 90s film which features supporting performances by Viggo Mortensen, James Gandolfini, and Steve Zahn. And that's the sound of my ride arriving. Mm -hmm. Tonight on the hose, five, four, three. Multiple? They probably heard about the baby, Rick. Um, this thing is ah! not it's not breathing. I'm They're just going to be honest. Take me away. <laughs> This you went, nice. You wanted multiple choice? Multiple choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your multiple, multiple choice, choice options are, is it A, Crimson Tide, B, Ricochet, C, Fallen, or D, The Bone Collector? Can we get a repeat of the question? Be your second one, mm -hmm. yes. That's a JTE rule. Denzel Washington starred in what 90s film, which features supporting performances by Viggo Mortensen, James Gandolfini, and Steve Zahn? Crimson Tide? That's a point. That's correct. That's a point That's for the correct. cuckoo's mess. And you know, Ken, Video you just get really loves the movie Fallen. Not the it's real not <laughs> All right, yeah, that keeps him in the game. All here. right, we have arrived at the last question in round number two. Thank God. <laughs> you and me both, kid. In the world of Denzel Washington films, what 2012 film stars Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds? Rick the Ruler. Yeah, multiple choice, please. I can provide that. Is it A, Safe House, B, Two Guns, C, Unstoppable, or D, Chaos Theory? A. Damn it. It is A, Safe <laughs> House. Uh, 24 to 18, Cuckoo's Nest, not their strongest round. They did spin opponent's choice. Right. They were saddled with Denzel Washington, a category that they spun away from Ken, yet it's they find themselves only trailing by six going into round look, three. Look, you get you know, hung with that uh, opponent's choice, and that's what you come up with. Uh, get a good round. Hey, we're all winners here. I, I think that's a, that's a good round going in three. They do got some work to do here in the final round. Yes, they do, out. because the final <laughs> round will determine the winner of today's match. Uh, the Cuckoo's Nest, the Cuckoo's Mess, excuse me, emphasis on the mess, is currently trailing by six points. That can be made up quickly because there's a total of ten points that can be won in round at number three. Here's how we determine that. Each team is going to give us a series of numbers. 
These numbers can range from 1 to 20. We need three numbers from each team. Those numbers correspond to a different corner of movie, trivia, schmodown, know-how. Your first question is worth two points. Next one's worth three points. The last one is worth five points. This is the team format. And so as soon as we tell you what the category for the two-point question is, the team will have to decide which member is going to answer that question. The opposite team member has to answer the three-point question. Both questions must be answered solo, independent of your teammate. You may only confer for the five-point question. Um, Real Rejects, yes. you are enjoying a six-point lead going into round number three. Enjoy it. What three numbers from one to 20 feel lucky, gentlemen? I'm going to choose two and 12 in honor of my girlfriend's birthday that's coming up. Aww. That's very sweet. Two and 12. That's very sweet. Your Thank hand. You. Thank you. Your hand. Right. Nope. I don't touch my I'm going to choose the number eight because when you flip it sideways, it's infinity. Oh my God. Solid Not answer. a sweet, but you know, <laughs> you know, time is a construct, man. All uh, right, the cuckoo's mess. Three numbers from one to 20 that are not two, 12, or eight. Five? Yes. One? Two? Yes. Five. One of those. We already have a two. We already have a two. two. One of those is a two. Three. 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 There you go. Five, five one, one and three. three. Five, one, and three. Cuckoo's Mess, you have some work to do, some ground to make up in the world of six points. So how much you trail the real rejects by. You selected number five for your two-point question. That corresponds to animated movies. So between Rick or Drew, who would like to feel that uh, question? Video Drew will take that, please. Video Drew will take that. And your question for two points. Uh-huh. What Disney villain has blue flames for hair. Five, four, three. Do we have one two. JTE left? Yes, you Can do. Can I use it? Yes, you Please? may. Please? JTE rule in the world of animated movies. What Disney villain has blue flames for hair? Hades? I mean, yeah. That is, <laughs> that is two points. Yeah! There right, we go. We go. Uh, moving on, we're sticking with the Cuckoo's Nest for their three-point okay. question. Yep. Uh, you selected number one, and this is going to go to Rick the Ruler Hong. Tom. Famous actors and actresses is mm -hmm. the category. Famous actors and actresses. And your question. What 1987 German film, Wings of Desire, was remade in 1998 with Nicolas Cage and Meg Ryan? No JTE rules remaining. No JTE rules left. We're going to need to answer in five, four, three, two. City of Angels. There you got it. Yeah. Oh. Three points. <laughs> I give up I tomorrow. I and they have edge ever so closer. All and right. can we are going to stick with the cuckoo's mess okay. now to avoid the technical knockout? Oh, that's right. And to go up by four points on real rejects. Five point question. Video Drew and Rick the Ruler may confer. Tom. Okay. In the world of spy movies, your five point question is in the world of spy films. Mm -hmm. And your question is. Which actor plays a character simply called Control, who is the mentor of Gary Oldman's character in Tinker, Tailor, Soldier, Spy? Five, Five four, four, three, two. two. Colin Firth. And Joe Winners! Oh. Mario! Oh, John Hurt. John, John Hurt was the answer. It is a technical knockout because the Cuckoo's Mess could not conjure the name of yes. John Hurt. Great movie, tough question. Tough, not a whole lot of people cut. saw, but John Hurt is great as control in that film. And the real rejects were great here today, winning in a technical knockout. I'll game. tell you what, 24-23, an entertaining a match that sure 
to get people talking over there in the Movie Trivia Showdown Facebook group. Uh, a lot of after things. That. Yeah, big win for the Real Rejects. One and five. One and five now becomes two and five. But this is kind of a brand new era, and you gotta take that win and move on. That's man. right. And can you see uh, no lack of performance ability from either team? But when it came time to actually answer the questions, I was impressed with both Cuckoo's Mess and Real Rejects. They knew their stuff in round one. Now Cuckoo's Mess got saddled with a tough opponent's choice. Yep that they did not want in round two, but they were game for it. Mm -hmm. They almost came all the way back, couldn't quite get to the top of that mountain. Well, that's the risk of the wheel round. We always talk about it. You get that first spin, do you take it? Hoping yep. maybe maybe it's just the best you're going to get. Hope for something big. Big uh, life is uh, is risk. Sometimes it doesn't pay off there. Uh, Denzel Washington did, did seem to get them. But again, Rick, Video Drew really did show some knowledge here today. And as a team going forward, if Kaiser can, can really get them into shape in the dungeon, they could do some damage. Now, if you look at the real rejects, like you said, going forward as far as what this means for the Mouthy Mercs mm -hmm. and Coy Jandrew's squad. That's a big win for Coy, and I'm sure that <laughs> we, we talk about him never lacking energy. He might be uncontainable right now after this W. We're going to find out. Jen Sturger, we put you in tough positions before. You're going to have to handle all the energy of these three lads. Oh, <laughs> <Yeehaw. laughs> it was It was exciting. Yeah. I don't even know how to start this interview because you guys are just, uh, it's its a lot of, it's a lot. Wild berries. Whoa, 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 whoa. We oh, can't no. say that here. Okay, never mind. Wild Moment mercenaries. The wild mercenaries. This is how our pre-interview went. It's going to be great. Congratulations, guys. Uh, you know, <laughs> Jesus. You guys didn't bring enough mass. This is becoming a weird, really weird eyes wide shut party back here. Um, anyways, <laughs> the TKO, honestly, you guys needed this. You needed this after New <laughs> You guys. After, no, 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 no. No, but let's be real. You guys are two and five. Like, if you guys win Is your next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. The, the, the optimism that you bring to these two uh, is palpable. It was all coy. I can't say anything back here. It's palpable, okay? But, so you guys can win your next three, and honestly, you guys could get back on track. How are you feeling about this? I just hope that I can finally get invited onto the SCN Network show. It, uh, is Christian here? I just want him to know I've been busting my ass for five years being a fan of the Schmodown. And I would just really appreciate that invite finally. The man's himself. Yeah. Frankly, I've seen horrible things. Yeah. That's just what he's done publicly. Boy, you've been doing so much. What what brings this energy, this newfound winning energy, uh, to the real rejects? Is it is it you? Is it being around Bibiani and the kid? What what is it? Is it the magic of Shazam? Well, I think it's a faction strength. Like it's really important to me that we have tactics going in as an entire faction, and then individual teams have their strength as well. So we had a plan going into this that was specific to the real rejects. And Which was what besides upset Roka? Well, it's. Uh, I, I think I want to use it again. You don't tell the winning secrets. So there, there were some things that worked here that I think will work again for them, but it's also faction-wide certain things we do. And then I knew when I drafted these guys specifically what I wanted out of the Real Rejects, and they played exactly like I wanted. I knew they could be a 2-5 and five team, and they're going to be <laughs> They're gonna be much more than that, and they will be very soon. I knew going into this that a certain amount of perspective, a certain amount of shaping of each of my people is going to reshape the whole faction, and this is just the beginning, and I'm so proud of how Shazam did. I'm so proud of how these guys did. And I have no doubts with the rest of the faction, and I think it's our team, it's our year. Can I just add that for Rick's first video, Drew did great, but for Rick's first time playing, he was awesome too. Yeah, yeah. dude. Killing the game and keeping us in suspense at the end. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, um, congratulations, guys, on starting to find your way back into the win column. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Question <laughs> mark? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this plays out the rest of the season. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Jen. Ken, I seem to remember a Washington Redskins squad coached by Marty Schottenheimer starting out 0-5 and, and then running the table, almost getting to the playoffs. Same with Joe Gibbs in his rookie season. Head coaching was 0-5, and, and they made it all the way back to 8-8. Eight eight. What does that have to do with real rejects? You tell me. Mm -hmm. Cam Cameron's Dolphins are still 1-15 and, and got nowhere, but I'll tell you what I like about what I saw back there is Coy Jandrew is really – getting the team aspect together. They all feel feel like they're having fun, they're together. I don't know if they go to like a Shakey's and sit down and have a team meeting over some, uh, you know, Mojo potatoes or something, but it's working. Big win, new era, great start for Real Rejects. I, Coy Jandrew is the glue of that team, and I don't just say that because he is hot and sticky. We now move on to the Cuckoos mess, who even in defeat, fought valiantly, entertained a nation, and possibly abused a baby. Jen Sturger, it's all yours. Oh. 
What? Wait, what are you doing? Uh, I shook those vagabonds' hands. I don't want to get a whooping cough today. I don't think that that's exactly how that works, but okay. Uh, you have to be feeling pretty good about the way these guys perform. Oh, hi, Drew. Hi, uh, Jen. Yeah, um, you gotta be feeling pretty good about how these guys perform today. Uh, Rick the Ruler is in full effect. It was his first match, I'm excited. You know, getting Drew into the dungeon was a priority, and I pulled off that heist, so I'm just looking forward to getting him some study time with the crew, with the rest of the, the stable, and I, I think we got something good here, and I, there's a lot to take away from this match. They're gonna be a strong team this year. And we did such a very, very good job, considering that Tom and I had originally lost to Kaiser's team, Loose Cannons, last season with by a considerable more points. So we're really coming up for our first matches. That's not that's not Tom, babe. Oh. Ha, back to you, whoever. <laughs> no, it's not you, Mark. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? Oh so it's nice to it's nice to see that you are finding okay, okay, I guess again, fine. Uh -huh. It's nice to see that you're finding your new way with this new teammate. Um, is this... Yeah, well, we are here to make friends, but also win and also find true love. So this season, we just want to say, Jen, please take this rose. Hey, Jen, the force is strong with this one. <laughs> Can't fault Jen Sturger for just wanting to get the hell out of there. The cuckoo's mess. An interesting debut, to say the least, Ken. Was it an auspicious debut of things to come? I don't know what happened back there. I think legally Jen just got remarried to another couple. Yes, I believe um, she now has a child. Yeah, uh, look, uh, uh, I trust Kaiser. I, that's the words I probably should never say you publicly gotta again. you got to give him credit. got to give credit. You know what he did last year. He takes a team like this. Uh, it is chaotic energy going on there, and that's a, an entertaining team. Uh, they know things. You know what I mean? They know things. They just need maybe Kaiser to put them on the right path. We come here to be entertained, and that was certainly the case for us up here at the Answer Desk. Make sure you check out the movie, Trivia Schmodown, Patreon. Select which tier is right for you today. And we have live events just about every month now in a different city. Go to the SchmodownLive.com for tickets. Maybe you'll even see Ken, why we love Star Wars Knapsack there at a future live event. Maybe. That's Ken Knapsack. I'm Mark Ellis. On behalf of Christian Harloff, we'll see you real soon at the movie Trivia Schmodown. <laughs>